We usually, we usually call it pecan, not pecan. Boy, that is nice. And to give you an idea, I did a 55 bed because the 49 still has this thing and it change of profile. Yep, yep. And then, because I took five inches out of the center of the body. Three, oh, you, oh, you sectioned it five oh, inches? Yes. Oh, yes. wow. And three and, a, three and a half off the top. I love the 58 Chevy yes. uh, Impala. That's some bitch. We bought the roof. Boy, uh, that is nice. The point where most time I'm sitting there telling me, why don't we do this? Boy, that looks nice. It's section five inches, you said, right? And it's Suicide seven. the doors. Yeah, 50, uh, 59 Impala dash. A 64 Cadillac tilt telescopic dead wheel. It's got the glass finished last week. Boy, you modified that dash too. Wow. Yeah. Nine and a half inches out of the center. Nine and a half out of the center? Yeah. And that's a Corvette console down there, yes, ain't sir. it? Unbelievable. You know, Bill, I, I tell people this, but I see what I want before I get it there. You know? Yeah. And because the cab got so short, I found one on eBay in a brand new with the wires it hadn't even been put in. Brand new old stock? No. Oh. A reproduction. A repo, okay. But it was $380. I said, I'm not paying for that. Well, then I saw, I even had the flyer from Auburndale where they built it. So I called them. You know what they said? seven fifty. dollars Wow. <laughs> Love the spinners on it. Well, see, I was going to get some of the older ones from, like, Plymouth. Yeah. But nobody had them. And I found that, so I thought, this is awesome. But what I did here, you know, once you chop the top, you got a slot. Yeah. So what I did then is I lowered, I, this was like this tall. Yeah. So I cut it out, dropped it down so you can actually see out the back. Oh, I used to, I'll tell you, I used to wake up and I actually remember waking up in the middle of the night when I was building mine and I would go, oh God, it's going to be ugly. I mean, I had no clue, you know, I mean, I was still trying to figure out how to put the nose on. And yeah. Well, see with this, I fill all the holes and I curved this to match the chassis, I mean the body, and then I rolled this out back here. Wow. The only body that has panel that hasn't been cut is the tailgate. Those are 62 O's taillights. I was going to say, those are old, old taillights, right? Yeah. You and I them. lengthened the back fenders four and a quarter inches. Is that right? And that was an interesting challenge because once you cut it off here and move it back, then you got to cut it this way to get the taper to continue. Yep. Yeah, but you wouldn't. We wouldn't really notice it had been lengthened. No, it looks good. Yeah, you. I mean, you could. You could tell it's longer. I mean, you know, but it's. It's. It is nice. Wow. Well, the problem happened. See, I took the five inches out of the hood. And you pancaked the, it. The hinge didn't work. So I had to slide oh. it back, and I was down at the Street Rod Nationals in Tampa, and the guy had a, a original Osmo uh, Buick, and he had the thing up like that. And I said, "Man, what is that?" He said, "Well, this is normal." Right, the old Buicks used yeah, to go both ways. Is. Well, it's got a nail head there too. How how big is it? 401. It is a 401. Yeah. Oh, with the quad, with the quarter jet. Be still in my heart. And one the other, and this guy said, "Well, I got a friend in, in Rhode Island that has a lot of Buicks, so I bought all of this and the bracing, and it took me 90 hours to now, make it work." Now that's 53 Buick in that area, yeah, right? Yeah, 50, 53, 52. What a, what a guess I did. <laughs> yeah, because I can remember because the hood would open up both yes. ways. Yes. Unbelievable. And see, these, I, I had two sets. I had the the, uh, the pop metal ones, which were longer, and these are shorter. They're stainless, so I ended up with this. The stainless? Yeah. Corvette grill, or, or part no. of a Corvette grill, no. right? No. 54 Chevy. Oh, okay. It's the original bar. And these are again, same guy did all this chrome. This this roll pan is part from a hood front, so I would blend. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And I had a base metal did this for me. A solid one inch rod, stainless. Unbelievable. I love the peak on the hood. Well, you know, when these old old trucks, they had a, a bolt in thing going down there. Right. Oh yeah, this I is, used to own one. Oh, this is the center out of a 1970 Tornado hood. I cut a piece all the way back. It, it come out pretty nice. Oh yeah, they come out real nice. And you can, oh, is, my God. There's a story behind that too. You got you got two Hemi's. Yeah, I got one right here. <laughs> this one down here too. This oh. one I went to Arkansas. I got because it was an industrial. 
and they ran them with propane. That motor was clean as a new car. You're kidding me. No. And that's got a 700. This is a, a 390, 340, 3, Well, they had the 331s. They yeah, had, they had so is. many different Hemis, it's ridiculous. Well, you know, I'm an e so All the metal work's basically done. So I've got a built 727 here. I've got the Hemi. Oh and that's going to be my next project. That's that a, last project. That's one of my favorite, I'm telling you. It brings me back to Sampa Drag Strip. Yes. When I was a little kid, I used to see... The Hemi's running against the experimental 427s, which mm -hmm. look like which look like 348s or 409s, the very first ones, and with factory AFX, yes, fact, I a that. factory experimental. And I used to watch these things, and I used to cry every week watching the Hemi beat the Chevy <laughs> and the Ford. This is a big car, man. Oh yeah. Well, see, when I got this thing, it had this damn Hemi hood on it. And the next year, when I went to Daytona, this this thing took a special hood. Uh, uh, and I got one right here, just for sixty-five. This thing's this thing's rust-free. I mean, yes, it, looks, it, it looks like brand new, new old stock panels on it. Yeah, there's a few dents right in these few areas here, but the rest, like I say, two guys spent seventeen years making the body work. Unbelievable. This now, where'd you find it? Maryland. Unbelievable. Yeah, forty-nine, forty-eight. Now they got Anglia, Fames. Uh, well, Thames, they call it, yeah. in England. Yeah. And they got the prefect, pre prefect. Which was four doors. A friend of mine has a prefect back home. In fact, if you, if you see my videos, it's in it all the time from up north. Yes. Love the dash. That's a 60, 60, 61 Chevy. Chevy, right? It fit perfect. Narrowed. <laughs> no, that's just the one side, because it was a two-piece. Right. Okay. And this, I, when I bought this, it was, gonna, it was a race car that never got finished. It had a straight axle and had a whole shimmy around. You had these tires stick outside. Yep. So I don't I don't do three three forty eight tripod. Yep. Unbelievable. It is the nose. Yep. It's all all steel all too. All steel. That's rare. Station wagon. Eighty nine escort had the right curvature to it. You're kidding and me. I thought, where am I going to find one? <laughs> and I, sure enough, I found one at seven, at forty, at the ninety-eight auto, uh, auto wrecking yard. And we cut this thing and dropped it on there. Fit perfect. Well, that side. Look at that. And that is the one from the escort. You kidding? So me. I can get my interior light and all that stuff put in. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is what I'm really pleased with. This is a thirty-three. Okay. This was a sedan. It was a sedan? Yeah. You've got to be kidding. No. I got the chassis from Virginia. That's got a high front suspension. Came with a title, nine inch rear, a reproduction 34 grill, and a Griffith radiator. That's 6,500 bucks. I was just going to say this. Are you kidding me? So we went to, me and my friend went to Bryan, Texas. We got a decent sedan. And we cut it off. Well, you know this street auto street uh, Steve's auto restoration up north oh, yeah. sells the bodies. Yep. Well, I called him. I said, "Would you sell me all the back panels?" He said, "Yeah, thirty-two hundred bucks. You got it." No kidding. So this is all all real. Yeah, they, they make the speed the speed thirty-four. So this is basically all metal. It's all metal. Oh wow! I got a hood top over there because the Hemi won't let me put. It's custom. Yeah, yeah I see. It's I noticed custom. that. Yeah, roll the roll pan. Yeah. Now you're gonna you're gonna put a Hemi in this one too? That one over there. Oh, that one's going in. Yes. We've already had it in and out. Show you inside. Is that, is that right? Unbelievable. Boy, you guys did a good job. Yeah. He, you know, to drive with those tires, small and big in the back, that's dangerous. It goes all over the road, you know. I said you need a roll by in it. You know? But I, I don't have any any problem with mine. Yeah. In fact, I go through the quarter mile, at, you know, 110, 115 miles an hour, and okay. But the, the slick's a little wobbly going through, but because oh, okay. you're running so low pressure, that's unreal. This is this is all handmade. The whole floor, the whole rear, everything is handmade. Yeah. And you got a roll bar in it. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Yeah. You get you got a roll cage in it. This I think ring or shack or rock rock rack 
rod. Yeah. And then a sleeve that goes over it, so you connect the thing here and there, and it gets. Oh yeah. It's chopped what about three inches, two, two and a half, three inches. Yeah. Yeah, we it took. It's probably back ordered for. Side shot of it. When I got this thing, because it had been a race car, they cut the back fenders all out. Oh, okay. And so I had some plastic fenders I brought from England, and I just couldn't. So we laid it out using the. the he built this for me. Now, wh where did you get the 401? I asked oh, wow. 2500 bucks. Now, that's going on what? The coupe over there. The coupe, okay. Was that Weber? No, it's I IDA. IDA, okay. Actually, yeah. carburetors. That's, that's Ida. Yeah, yeah. that's. Uh, he, did, he does custom cars up north, right? Same guy, right? No, he's from Georgia. Oh, okay. It's a but I met, different one. yeah, I met it with him over in Daytona. Started, oh, that's nice. started talking to him, and uh, I said, "Can get it up on the lift." And you know, the funny thing too is cover for the coupe. Oh no, kidding! And I want to put Scorpion somewhere on it. That is neat. Well, you know where it's coming from, you know. Yep. You get the right wheels in the front of it too. Yep. The perfect wheels. Yeah, I'm going. It, the guy, yeah, it, you know, he Rust had rust I'll burn him. He had a bunch of this one. I mean, you know, I, I'm actually considering taking that.